All right, guys, welcome back to your 19th video tutorial on HTML5. I think it's the 19th. Anyways, let's go ahead and work on our sidebar right here because we've got a little bit of real estate over here that we need to utilize. So what I want to do is I want to go to my index.html page and let's look for a side. Here it is right here. Okay, great. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a... I don't know what I want to do. I want to create a recent work advertisement though. I want to say that we created a new website and I want to advertise it right here on my homepage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it another H1 tag and I'm going to type header tag because I want the browser to render it and I know it's SEO friendly and we'll say recent work and we'll close out our H1 tag and we'll close out our header tag and we'll give it a line break and what do I want to do? What do I want to claim? You know, we're going to kind of have fun with this. I'm going to say that, or we're going to say that we created eBay. I'm going to grab a picture. No, not Google eBay. What am I doing? Google eBay. Okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to click on it. Let's drag it to our desktop. I'm going to change the name to ebay.png. Let's put it in our images folder. Just like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and source it in. Let's just do image source images I believe it's called ebay.png I think it was PNG and let's just do some inline CSS I'll say it's maybe 150 pixels in width by 100 pixels in height let's look at that okay well now we just need to go ahead and apply some CSS so let's go to our CSS, and we'll just call this ID side. You guys think of that. Actually, we have to put our link tags around our eBay, so let's go ahead and do this really quick. We'll do href equals http eBay www.ebay.com and let's use that target blank tool. <coughs> Excuse me. So it will open up in a new tab without taking us completely off our page. Target underscore blank. Stretch this out so we'll keep it all on one line just like that. And let's close this out. Let's see if our link tag works. Perfect, okay great. Now we just need to rework the CSS. So let's go to our CSS page. If I could find this bad boy, where are you? Okay, great. So we've got content, we've got H1, H2. Okay. Let's go ahead and create side. And we're gonna set it to float right so we can get it over here and uh, we'll create the width of 30% we'll see how that looks CSS is really annoying because you always got to go back and forth and check it on different browsers and different devices and stuff like that but it's up to you to get it right I mean there's no right or wrong whatever you like is uh, what your clients gonna see or what your audience is gonna see I'll give it a border. We'll do border. I'll do five pixels. Groove. No, we'll just do solid. No, I'll do groove. That's cool. Black. And margin from the right. We'll try ten pixels. See if see if we have enough room. Save this. What's going on over here? Uh-oh. 
why isn't this inside of our wrapper? Let's give our wrapper a minimum height of 500 pixels. Okay, it still did not fit. Okay, let's, uh, this is what I'm talking about with CSS, it's really tricky. It, and the answer is usually like right underneath your nose you, and it could drive a, a, a sane man to the point of insanity with no point of return. So let's just look at this really quick. Okay, so recent work, I changed the margin right to 5% and let's get the content, which is this right here. And let's say float left. Let's see what this looks like now. Perfect. Okay, great. This border looks really ugly. So in the next video, let's look at some HTML5 and CSS3 attributes and properties that could have, um, that can allow us to have a better border. We could have rounded edges and stuff like that. But for the most time, here's our sidebar with our funky, uh, <laughs> our eBay ad that we're claiming that we created, which we obviously did not. But uh, hopefully you guys are following along and uh, we're learning HTML5 and the sidebar is coming together. All right, guys, good luck.